Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Dinkum. Good day. Get ready to start a new fair Dinkum life and build your new home out in the bush. The island inspired by the wild Australian outback might. Uh, this game is on Steam. It is normally $20. We're going to get started right now. First thing you have to do is make a character. Let's randomize a little bit. All right, so this is my character. We're going to go with Chad. Chadston, except I spelled it wrong. Um, spelled it really wrong. Chad, Chad, stun. There we go. Chad, Chadston. All right, and the island name will be Blood Doom Island. Now, <laughs> there's two ways I can go with the island. I could either go with cutesy, wootsy, super, you know, fluffy, like rainbows and unicorn island, or I could go the complete opposite. And I figured going the complete opposite would be more fun. So let's go ahead and create our character. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, Chad Chatson. So um, I'm from like some crappy city and they wanted me to come here and, and live here. So that's the story. Um, I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, Chad Chatson. I'll see you outside, okay? Alrighty, so let's get outside. Alright, and let's talk to her really quick. I'm going to talk to you guys about the camera, because we got to talk about the camera. Um, wow, smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Blood Doom Island. <laughs> yes, oh, that makes me so happy. Now, Chad Chess, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent, take your time, and find a good place for it. It'll be like our, it'll be, a, it'll be our, like our, wait, it'll be our, like our town hub. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, here's the deal. I don't know anything about the game. I don't know where a good spot to put the base tent is. I'm just going to put it down wherever I feel like, uh, take this map. If you have any questions, just ask me. I haven't been back to blood doom Island for a long time, but I think I could still be helpful. I'll be waiting by the docks until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, check your map to the docks again. Good luck. So I don't know if the docks, like, mean anything in the game or whatever, so we'll just have to see. I don't know if, like, they're a place I want to live close to or what. Alright, so there's the map. Okay, and I guess I'll just, um, build over here. So we're gonna go directly right behind me. We got some kangaroos. Beautiful. Um, open your pockets. Sounds good. And we are going to head over yonder and see what we can find. As far as I know, you can't pause in this game. Uh, you know, like you got like a day's work and you got to get it done. And like, I read somewhere that like, if you want to, if you want to play, play for a half hour and like make the days, the end and beginning of your play session, because you can't pause and you can't save until the day's over. So we'll have to see how that works out. All right. So now we got to go this way and let's run through here. I mean, let's just, let's just call it what it is. This game reminds me a lot of animal crossing. Uh, is that thing? Oh God, that's an alligator. Okay. Oh. So there are dangerous things in this game, I was wondering, because I don't think you can get hurt in Animal Crossing. I don't know, I never played it, but I've watched Autumn play it. So I, you know, I guess we'll just stay right here. I don't know. Seems like a good place to me. Let's go ahead and put down our base tent right there. Is this a good place? I don't know. That's where I'm putting it down, though. Old waffle caught up to me. Uh, it's absolutely perfect. Our new, our new home here on Blood Doom Island. Thank you so much for uh, setting up the base tent. Guess what? I actually have a tent for you. It's not much. Place, it's a place to call home. There's plenty of room to spread out here. Uh, please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit, so put it close to the base tent, I'm imagining. Keep in mind, while you are looking for a spot to claim as your own, I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me when you place your tent. Again, I don't know where a good spot to place is, so I'm just going to place it right here. Um, yeah, right here seems... Uh, I don't know. How about... Is that dog going to attack? See, I don't know. Now I'm nervous. Alright, let's just place our tent right here. Okay, rotate is E. Alright, seems like a good spot. Yes, place the tent. And now we can go inside, and this is our little, our little humble abode. We do have some money, by the way. 250 uh, coins. 250 gold, I guess. Alrighty. I know it's not much, but it's your new home. Tell you what, you've got that spark, Chad Chasson. You see most people in South City? 
uh, are scared of leaving. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people, but I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader? Uh, sure. Nah, I haven't. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. He's a bloody legend, mate. Rumor has it his parents acquired him by trading a set of antique color. Oh, that's, that's dark. Yeah, he sounds like he's going to fit right in on Blood Doom Island. Trading is in his blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting here. Um, can't miss an opportunity like this. We need to get a visiting site deed ready for him. That'll be where he can visit. Blood Doom Island. How could you not want to visit Blood Doom Island? I'll let you decide where the best place is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like part of the... <laughs> We want visitors to feel like part of the Blood Doom Island community. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, it, it makes me so happy. Who knows? Maybe convince him to set up a permanent place here. Uh, sure to talk. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go. Visiting the site, dude. Let's do it. Oh, I want to talk to you guys about the camera. Okay, so when you first come into the game, you guys will see the camera is completely borked. Absolutely borked. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to the camera. You're going to put invert free camera unchecked. And then Y is checked. Then you're going to go to mouse always move camera checked. That will fix all your problems. Because without it, it's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. All right. Where do I put this place? Uh, right there. Looks good to me. Sure. All right. There you go, buddy. Come on and visit. Um, talk to Fletch. Fletch, look what I did. Well done, Chad Chasson. We've been here for a little while, but um, you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Blood Doom Island, you know? He was a true adventurer through and through. He loved doing things and keeping track of his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try to meet those milestones myself, but I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, Chad Chatson. Please, you should be able to, like, tell her to call you by your first name. Although, I guess technically they didn't ask for a first and last name, so. Um, I, my guy should probably just call Chad, but whatever. I want you to take this adventurer's journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. Alrighty. Alright, this journal means a lot to me. But I think my dad would be glad someone like you was looking after it. But I have a challenge for you, Chad Chatson. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Wow, so he was a legend. And yeah, just beat the legend. No problem. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete. But there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to your journal. These will be smaller milestones uh, that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass will be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. But we could talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check the journal. I think you'll find you've actually completed some of the milestones already. So be sure to claim them. Um, now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen some uh, fruit growing around this island that sounds tasty. You go find us some fruit when you get back. I will show you how to craft a campfire. Sounds good. Let's take a look at this journal. Uh, let's skate. There we go. So the camper, I get some permit points for that. And then the explorer, permit points. And they don't tell you what the other stuff is. We've got tasks here. There we go. All right, so we need some fruit. Okay. All righty. So I don't even know where to start to look for the fruit. Let's just kind of explore around a little bit. Maybe the trees? Wouldn't you see the... Wait. Get log? Gum log? Okay. And can I just put that in my inventory? Yes, I can. All right, cool. Might as well grab some of these logs, too. There we go. Oh, that looks like fruit. Harvest. There we go. Pick this stuff up. I think you got to put it in your inventory or something. I think it should go in your inventory automatically. Maybe there's a way to deal with it that, you know, uh, that I'm just not seeing yet. Oh, that's my tent. Wrong place. Got to go to the other tent. What's up? You found something to eat. Yes, I did. Eating food will help keep your energy up. Yes. Okay. Here's a recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier. You can use uh, these to craft your campfire. You'll have to find some wood yourself, though. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time. When you are done, come and chat with me. I have a gift for you. All right. 
So I'm gonna need some wood, but I don't know how much. So let's go to the let's go to the crafting table. And we have the wood. Look at me go. Alright, I, I got permit points for that, didn't I? I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Chad Chess, and I think there's a great future for all of us here at Blood Doom Island. Here's a gift to help you out so much. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you can go catch some of those bugs, or maybe you could cook some of the fruits you found. Um, I'll figure out something to do. I'm sure you will. Oh, and before I forget, take the sleeping bag too when you get tired. Pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, uh, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help. Uh, I can't believe we're on Blood Doom Island. I couldn't have done any of this without you. So, can I just sleep anywhere? I don't know. Um, well, let's see if we can put the campfire inside. Probably not, but... Nope, definitely not. I'll put this inside, though. But you can put this outside, too, right? I can just sleep anywhere. Can I pick it back up? Lay down, pick up. All right, cool. So you can, okay, so you can bring that anywhere. That's awesome. So I'm going to put that up here. And I'm going to put this over here for now. And I guess I'll just put the campfire down, like right here. And I can pick that up too. Cool. Oh, God, I lit myself on fire because, of course, I did. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I should have built by the water, I guess. Oh, I'm not on fire anymore. Cool. All right, so in order to cook, you just simply put the piece of fruit in your hands, and you walk up to the campfire carefully, and then you put it on the campfire. And then eventually it'll pop off. As far as I can tell, it can't burn. Now, these fruits right here only give you 2-3. When I say 2-3, um, the numbers are always going to be health and then stamina, right? So 2-3, but cooked gives you 4-6. So that is really good. Now, I do want to get some hit points back. So, I guess you gotta hold down the button to eat. I don't think food goes bad. Oh, look! There's like a... I, that stamina meter, I think, has like an overflow meter. It's like the regular stamina meter, and then there's like a little, like, circle there. That's interesting. Alright. I think that's probably pretty good for now. Let's just go ahead and see if we can catch some bugs before nighttime. I don't know if we have to go to sleep at a certain time, or... You know, what the deal is with that, but... Oh, what is that? Harvest. Oh, yellow wattle flowers. Okay, we got some poop. Cool. Oh, there's a bug. Get over here. There you go. I caught a scarlet Jezebel butterfly. Awesome. I think you take pictures and stuff, but I forgot. <laughs> Alrighty, let's keep uh, looking for some more bugs. Again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go to bed at a certain time or what. I know she's told me a lot of stuff, but, you know. I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed. It's a pretty crazy game. This is not my normal thing. There we go. Um, build camera. Build camera. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm not sure if that's taking pictures or not. All right, let's grab some more of these butterflies. We got job for the water so we don't get any crocs. And we got another one. Okay. So are these things going to do anything for me or what? Um, it's red, I guess. That's true, it is. We just, yeah, we could shift click. How about I put this right here for cooking stuff, and that goes right there for the cooked stuff. Alright, cool. Harvest? That's more flowers, right? I don't really know what we would need flowers for. Alright, let's try and catch one more bug, and then I think we will uh, go to bed. So we could save the game. Oh, that thing just killed that other thing? Can I grab that meat? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. No, no, don't attack me. We're friends. We're friends. Whoa, what the hell is that? All right, let's go ahead and catch this thing. Okay, that's, uh... Oh, a blue moon butterfly. You probably catch different stuff at night. I'll bet. All right, let's go ahead and harvest. And then I think we're going to go to sleep. Let's get this off our... There we go. And I guess I'm just going to go to sleep. I mean, I could probably do more stuff, but I don't have any daily quests, so should be okay. 
And just because I'm gonna, whoa. Oh, that's weird, okay. Am I, free camera. Oh, so there's a build camera? And then there's a free camera, I see. All right, all right. I'm gonna put that right there. Looks good to me, and let's lie down. Call it a day, sleep until tomorrow. Now I have saved the game. And if I continue tomorrow's game, you gotta play it through. Oh, look at all this stuff. So I got it. That shows the foraging I did, the bug catching I did. Passing out will do damage to your tools. Oh, okay. Get up. And I guess I'll just take this with me. Just in case I want to uh, sleep out in the wild. Alrighty. Let's go talk to the old lady. What's up? Good morning, Chad Chadson. Did you happen to see that John has set up a tent at the visitor site? I did not. I told him all about you and, and how you've helped us get started here. He sounds impressed. John trades all sorts of things. Uh, I reckon nearly anything you can find in the island would be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit fish, bugs, and even rocks. Also sell him useful tools. He's got mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing equipment. Although probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have your license in order. Uh, you know about a license, right? No, I don't. Licenses are an old South City idea. I'll tell you what, you didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up, but these days you need a license for everything. Luckily, I am actually an accredited license giver. Well, just give me licenses then. I don't need to do anything. If you want to apply for a license, come talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points. Oh, the permit points. I got more permit points, by the way. Um, but if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. Uh, as you get better at doing certain tasks, new license levels will open up to too. Now let's see if there's a license you can apply for right now. Okay. Um, I can apply for a lot of licenses. I'm just not sure which. Allows the holder to craft basic weapons. Hmm. That might be useful. I was thinking mining, but, or logging. Chop down trees. You know what? I think... Hmm. Uh, it, am I going to get in trouble for killing the wildlife too much and stuff? Or should I go for logging? I don't know what to do here. I'm going to go for a hunting license because that's what my gut told me to do. Because then I can defend myself. Alright, wooden bat. Basic spear. Basic hammer. Okay. Can't do any more. Alright, let's see if we can uh, craft ourselves. I'm going to go with the spear. Great. So that was a, that was a complete waste of time because I can't make it. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can make the bat. What the hell? Sticky resin is a crab made from burnt Phoenix van. That's okay. Gumwood. Yeah, gumwood I have. I think I have. Yeah, tin. Damn it. I should have went for mining. All right. Well, live and learn. Cooking table. Crafting table. Yep. Can't do anything. All right. Well, now you guys know. Go for mining first. All right, so what do I do next? Tasks. Nothing. Maybe I gotta talk to her? I almost forgot. I noticed John is selling a new table saw. That's a tool I think will be very handy. I think you should try and make enough money to buy a table saw from John. Here's, here is half of my dinks. The rest is up. Oh, thank you. Wow, very nice. Whoa, damn. You're freaking rich, lady. Let's go talk to this guy. You must be Chad Chess, and Fletch told me you're uh, you're the one to thank for getting this place set up for me. Thanks for that. I have been uh, I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my wares and feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in now. Uh, I make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to South City. I guess you could you could say exotic means any of the items I found on Blood Doom Island. So if you find anything, and I do mean anything, you don't want, please drop by and show me. All right, let's go. Um, so how do I actually sell to him then? Uh, there we go. Uh, sell goods. Alright, butterflies. Let's see. Um, oh, 790. Damn, dude. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? Well, that's, I'm not going to complain. Let's go ahead and sell him uh, the rest of our stuff. So I was hoping this would be the case. You can sell multiple things at once. Let's sell both of these butterflies. And it should be 790 times 2. There you go. Wait, what? That's not 790 times two. Okay, hold on. Let me sell one at a time. Maybe maybe certain butterflies aren't as... 
hold on, let's take a look. So that's the Scarlet. Let's see what he... I wish I could tell you what he would give you for the Scarlet here, so I don't have to go through all this. All right, so seven ninety for the Scarlet. All right, let's see how much is for the other one. Yeah, I guess the I guess the Scarlet ones are the ones we want to sell. This one's probably not worth as much. Yeah, the Blue Moon. It's probably a hundred and something, right? So yeah, two ninety. Okay, fair enough. I will sell both of them. All right, I could just barely afford the table saw. Yep, got it. I'll take it. That's what I was told to buy, so that's what I'm gonna buy. All right. Now what? Now do I just place it? Where do I place it? By the table, so I'll talk to Fletch. All right, let's talk to Fletch. She'll set me straight. Well, the table saw, well done. Uh, don't you think John here is great? Yes, if we could convince John to move here permanently. Hmm. Well, let's not worry about... Let's worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent build first. The table saw is a great first step. For now, you you can have a break. Come back and talk. Okay, great. So, like, what we can only do... Like, you got to do the quest per day, because I was told that, like, if you don't do quests, they reset the next day. But it doesn't seem like they take long to do the quests. So, right now, I'm, I've just got open time. Okay, great. Should I place down the table saw, or... I don't know. I'll place it down here for now, I guess. Now what do I have to do? Do I have to hold wood in my hands? Let's see. Yep. There you go. Alright, that's good enough for now. Pick all that up. Beautiful. I guess we should continue ca catching bugs. Uh, let me go ahead and eat and do some more cooking. Because um, I would like to get that little red circle on the right-hand side of my stamina meter going up. I'm not sure what it does for you. I'm not sure what it's needed. But... Come on, eat, bro. There you go. And we'll continue cooking here. Well, apparently my guy is too full. Quote-unquote too full. So, um, that's great. Also, if you look on the bottom left-hand side, I was wondering what all that stuff means. Those are, like, other daily tasks you need to do. Or you can do if you want. Oh, did you see that food thing? I don't know what that means, but maybe it means I get some kind of boost or something. Anyway, if you look over here, uh, daily milestones, I cooked two fruit and I got the uh, 20, what are they called? Um, permit points. Uh, cook something at the cooking table. That's not good. Does she have a cooking table in her place? I'm not really sure. I'm going to look. And also travel 500 meters on foot. And I also got one for hot fruit. So there we go. So, can I cook more? 11 of 50? Cook fruit sounds gross. If I cook 50, do I get another set? I think I do. Okay, cool. Alright, very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go around and catch some more bugs and get that travel bonus. Alright, and then we are going to be looking pretty good. Yeah, you don't even have to go very far. I'm a little bit worried about, like, enemies, but... Oh, there's a butterfly. There's a butterfly. Come to Papa. Oh, I just got the uh, the movement thing. There we go. Very good. And we'll also harvest these. Quandongs? That doesn't sound right. I don't want to eat anything with the word dong in it. Can you catch spiders with this? Yes, you can. I caught a funnel web spider. And he's gonna he's gonna pay a lot for the spiders, I'll bet. Oh, we got some bees. Oh, a fly. Never mind. I wonder if he's gonna pay for a fly. Oh, okay. Something else popped up in here. Oh, there we go. Different bugs you've caught. Okay, great. See, so, yeah, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of permit points now. Hell yeah, we are. I'm gonna get that poop. You can farm in this game, so I'm assuming the poop is gonna come into play. Just been out there catching tons and tons of bugs. And now we're gonna sell some goods. Uh, we got this butterfly. This butter. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep butterflies. I don't really know why I would. Um, but whatever. I'm gonna sell the fly too. Alright, so those are all the butterflies. I did find some dr raw drumsticks on the ground. I'm not gonna sell that though. And that looks pretty good to me. Let's see how much we get for that. 442. Beautiful. Okay, I also got um, a couple of things here I could take care of. Um, creepy Dink. 
Bugs are everywhere for some reason. John wants them. Here's a milestone for selling bugs. Okay. And then bug catcher. All right. And that's it. Okay. So do I want to buy some of these tools? I mean, I know I can make them, but I don't know. I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to hold off for now. We'll see. I'll buy them when I have to. And I'm pretty sure I will have to. But for now, we won't. All right. So let's come in here. And does she want to talk? Oh, got another job for me. You up for it? Sure. Uh, I think camping is fun, but if you're going to convince people to stay here, we got to start building more permanent structures. I've noticed there are a lot of tin ore in this island. Um, I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know we can melt it. Into okay, got it. Bring some items. Um, we'll need one campfire, three stone, ten tin ore. Keep in mind, you will need a mining license to buy the pickaxe to collect ore and rocks. Well, I get, can I craft a pick? Oh, no, yeah, that's, she's right. Okay. Once you got everything you need, come and see me. Now, is that a, um, that's the thing. Is that a daily task? I, I don't, I don't think so. Do I have to do that today? Um, I think we should do it today. Uh, what's this? Okay. What's this? Oh, rewards. Okay. Got it. All right, I got myself a mining license, but it didn't give me the ability to make any pickaxes. So am I forced to buy one or what? I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this one now, and I will look it up later. Uh, that's a basic pickaxe, smash rocks and ores. I'll take it. Yeah, I guess you have to buy it. I, th I thought I'd be able to like, craft it because when I, when I learned like hunting or whatever, like I could make all the weapons, but I don't know. Couldn't do it with this one. So I did see a lot of ores out here. Is that tin? That looks like tin to me. Let's go ahead and mine this up. Tin ore. Three. And we got a gum log. That wasn't from the tin ore, but... All right, let me go ahead and mine up all this tin ore. I'll probably mine the, uh, the other stuff as well. I think it's copper. All right, I see the way the food meter works now. My stamina, when I was mining, went all the way down to almost zero. And I, I started getting to where I was going to pass out. So I started eating. And even though the stamina meter starts going up, you also have a full meter, which is the circle to the right. Once a full meter fills up, you can't eat anymore, even if you need more stamina. So I should be able to eat more now, although I guess I can't eat in here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. All right, let's go to the crafting table and make a campfire. All right, and I'm probably going to need three stone. Yeah, I'm going to need another three stone. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll grab this stone right here. Here we go. And pick up the stone. Let's grass seeds in one stone. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'll get some more stone. And we're also going to eat. So, yeah, you want to, as your, your, I don't know what to call it. Like, I'm going to call the stamina bar the stamina bar and the other, the little circle, your stomach. Um, you know, if your stomach isn't full and your stamina is not full, you want to really eat something. Say, oh, I just got some something. Um... Super task. Cool. Love it. Uh, what are my tasks for the day? Let me take a look. Craft two items. Cook one meat. Plant. Well, we're not going to be planting seeds because I'm not really at that point just yet. But I could do the other two. Do I have three stone yet? Yes, I do. Bring stuff to, to old Fletch. Hey, old Fletch. <laughs> Well done, Chad Chatson. I know I need to find everything we need. By the way, that quest was not a daily task. I went to sleep and it was still there. So here's a recipe for a crude furnace. Now, um, why don't you try crafting the crude furnace at the crafting table in the base tent? Once you craft the crude furnace, pop it on the ground outside somewhere. Then place ore in it. It will take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities while it's smelting. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready, okay? Sounds good. Crude furnace coming up. Um, okay. Beautiful. And then we will just put it down outside. I guess I'll just put it right over here. And face it. Uh, actually, I don't want it there. Maybe like right here. And facing... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Facing this way. We should go into first person mode sometimes too. Alright, so insert. I guess you don't have to put any, um... I guess you don't have to put any, uh, what do you call it in there, any fuel of any kind. Place the crude furnace down outside. Place the tin ore in the furnace. 
Wait for it to come to Timbar and tell- it, I, it doesn't say place the crude furnace down outside is done. I'm not really sure why, but let's just cook the tin bar and then we'll turn it in. Alright, there's the tin bar. Pick it up. Take the tin bar to Fletch. Okay. Get work done here, people. You're proving yourself valuable. I'm really starting to carry a lot of stuff around. I'll tell you what, I'll teach you how to craft a wooden crate. You're going to need a recipe for the nails too. I'll tell you what, Doom, Blood Doom Island is well on its way to being a great settlement again. With a furnace and a table, we can start thinking about building more permanent structures. I'll tell you what, we should try to get John to set up a real shop here. Um, how do we do that? I reckon if we spend a bit of money in a shop, he'll see is worthwhile. Oh, and we should show him uh, how friendly people are around here. Why don't you ask John if he has anything he needs done? If we can prove to him that Blood Doom Island, <laughs> Blood Doom Island is a great place to move, I'm sure he'll have to live here for good. Cool. All right, guys. Um, we are getting long here, so I do think I'm going to call this one here. I've got a lot done, though. Uh, this game is pretty freaking exciting. I'm having a good time. If you guys are, too, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Um, and please share the video if you want to see more of this uh, series because I'm having a good time, and I hope you guys want to see more. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.